Imagine starting a brand new year excited and hopeful for the future and then six months into the year the prices of items, services, fuel and even food are almost two times the price they were at the beginning of the year. Bad news everyone! Ghana's consumer price inflation accelerated to 23.6% year-on-year in April. That's up from 19.4% in March in a recent record that one economist described as shocking. In addition to that, your salary or your income is still pretty much the same as it was at the beginning of the year. Now imagine trying to survive on that same income with the new prices of goods and services. You see how that can be tricky? Exactly. That is why I definitely understand when people have sentiments like this one. Which brings us nicely to the topic for today's video. How to budget in this economy where inflation is almost at its highest and financial experts are advising us to start preparing for a recession. What do you do as a young person to be able to survive on your old income with all these new prices? Hello and welcome to my channel, just in case it's the first time you are seeing this gorgeous face. My name is Intrua and on this channel I share personal finance tips to help you master your finances and better prepare for your future because I strongly believe that no matter what stage you are in life, you do not have an excuse to not be financial literate. I also do share personal growth or development tips to help us get better with each passing day and then finally, I also share lifestyle vlogs on things I'm learning and how I'm navigating life as a young woman living by herself here in Accra, Ghana. If you are not new to the channel and you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and what up my G. I'm pretty sure this is not the first time you're hearing about budgeting and ultimately the definition of budgeting doesn't change because inflation is high at the moment. No, budgeting is and still remains the process of creating a financial plan on how to spend your money over a defined period of time. And whether you're doing it intentionally or not, at any point in time in your life, you're practicing at least one of these forms of budgeting. The very first type of budgeting is what I am calling or we are going to be calling balanced budgeting. Balanced budgeting is basically where you're living exactly within your means. So your income is equal to your expenditure. Then surplus budgeting. As the name depicts, you're living below your means and you have some form of surplus that you're either saving or investing. And then finally, we have what is called deficit budgeting. And yeah, you guessed right. Deficit budgeting is where you're living above your means. You're getting money from outside to complement your current income in order to make it through the month or the year. We can both agree that only one of these three types of budgeting will better prepare us for a better and more rosy future. Now, depending on which of the three categories you find yourself, improving your way of budgeting will look different from one person to the other because financial goals vary from one person to the other. For example, for someone who is currently practicing balanced budgeting, the goal for that person may be that they get to a point where they've decreased their expenditure in such a way that their income is able to not only cover the expenditure but also be enough for savings and future investments and then for somebody who finds themselves knowingly or unknowingly practicing deficit budgeting their goal may be to pay off the debt and finally learn to live within or below their means The truth is almost everybody is affected by inflation so if your excuse is that you can't budget anymore because inflation is high then you're doing yourself because the inflation is everywhere all of us are feeling the heat of the inflation but not all of us are responding the same way i could have easily turned on my camera sat in my apartment and told you that if you want to budget right this percentage has to go to savings that percentage has to go to investments. Yada yada. But the truth is, looking at the current economic climate, it will not be a smart thing for me to do. So the only thing I can do is to draw your attention to what you may be doing right or wrong and advise based on what I know or what is working for me. So if you're not new to budgeting, you know that one of the most popular forms of budgeting is a 
two rules so basically 50 percent of your income goes into covering your needs and then 30 percent of that income goes into covering your wants and then finally the 20 percent of your income either goes into savings investment or paying off debt if you can follow this rule consistently over the rest of your life you're pretty much set up in the budgeting department which is easier said than done. So here are some of the things that work for me with regards to budgeting. Immediately after payday, I first of all deduct my tithe. Yes, I'm a Christian and I pay tithe. The next thing I do is to deposit the percentage of money that I have decided to invest every month into my investment account and then the next step in my payday routine is i deduct the amount meant for my needs rent electricity utility bill money for transportation and food among other things those are things that i need to survive and thrive as a human being i break them down and pay whatever i need to pay and then finally the last piece of my salary goes to covering my wants so that would be things like getting a pedicure and money or buying a shoe that i've always wanted among other things if i can afford it finally i try my best to survive on this amount until the next payday so you notice that for me one of the things i prioritize is investing because i want to do what i humanly can do to prepare for my future i came across this illustration on twitter some weeks ago It is a picture of two people nursing a seed. One of them nurses the seed up to a point where it produces one fruit and then plucks the fruits and eats it. The second person nurses the seed to a point where it is a full blown tree and there are multiple fruits on the tree. And then you can imagine what happens from that point. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. So yeah, the inflation, we are all feeling it. For one group of people, it's depriving themselves of that instant gratification for the greater good. And the other group of people are eating their seeds or their first fruits. Someone had to say it. Now, in addition to cutting down or cutting back on your lifestyle and your spending habits in a time where inflation is high, there are some other things you can do in order to be able to have a surplus budget where you're able to save and invest for rainy days. One thing you can do is to get another income source. There's not so much cutting back you can do because you still have to survive, eat and go through your day. If that is a bit challenging at the moment, I can definitely understand that. But here's another thing you can do. Improve on your skills or expertise and then use that to find a new high paying job or new clients that pay better than you currently are getting so you can also use those new skills to negotiate a higher salary for yourself and if you're not able to act on either of these two immediately then you have to drastically when i say drastically i mean drastically cut down on spending so you can go on a shopping ban for about six months put all that money into better use and it will interest you to know that even though almost everybody around you on the internet on twitter is complaining about inflation and prices and all of that there are people among us who are taking advantage of what is currently happening and accumulating wealth and you really can't blame anybody because ultimately your actions determine which side of the table you sit at but no matter what you do make sure you're not saving money in a bank account for an extended period of time especially at this point in time where inflation is this high don't do it what you can do is to stop complaining about how bad the inflation is because it is bad everywhere and get to a point where you're able to budget in such a way that you have some surplus money that is going into your future in this video right here i talk about how to invest in stocks just in case you've kept money too long in your savings account and you're looking for ways to invest it or you can check out this one right here where i talk about how to do frugal living right so that you can cut down on your spending and finally have some surplus that can go into your savings investment or paying off debt i genuinely hope this video has been helpful and encouraging if it has been give it a thumbs up otherwise i would catch you in one of these ones no.